we have some folks with us who are still in session and they're here today, so I don't want to lose them, who have been a fight, not just this year, not just last year, but for a period of time, fighting for us and fighting for our rights on health care. I'd like to bring up State Senator Jane Cunningham. It's good to be back with my friends. Hello, patriots. Hello, friends. Hello, citizens of freedom. Um, as you know, I was the sponsor of the Health Care Freedom Act that passed in 2010 by a 71% vote. Thanks to many of you. You did let me finish that sentence because I was only the sponsor. It was people like you that were on the ground that got that 71% vote and sent an overwhelming message to Washington, D.C. to keep your hands off of my health care. Um, I remember back in January of 2010, we had a huge rally at the Capitol in the Rotunda. And we told you about, we rolled it out then, and you were there to start supporting it. And I remember telling you that the governor's comment on this piece of legislation was that it lacked reasoned support. At the same time, I went to Lieutenant Governor Kinder and I told him about the idea and I said, I think this may be of interest to you. How do you feel? And he said, as you heard earlier today, I'm all in. But the reason we did a very unusual technical for the passage of this, we sent a statute to the vote of the people because the governor, in his feeling that it lacked reason thought, doesn't reason the way 71% of Missourians reason. And so we showed him. But unfortunately, he didn't seem to get the message because he is still, as you've heard before from Senator Root, still trying to implement the health insurance exchange by going around the legislature. And so we have got to keep that stopped. We've got to keep vigilant, vigilant on that. Now, this is a bit of a swan song for me. As many of you know, I will no longer be in the Senate next year, not because I am being booted out by the voters, but because I am being booted out by 10 men who were put on a Senate reapportionment commission to draw the Senate lines. Those 10 men were appointed by the governor. We fought it with a lawsuit, and I want today to have Bob Robert Wood stand up. He stood with me as a plaintiff in that lawsuit. Come on, at least wave your hand. He stood with me. That's a good one. Trying to help me stay in the Senate, but we lost that. I am really hopeful, and I believe we've got people still in the legislature that are up and vigilant and will continue to help protect you from what the governor is trying to do. I do have a commit a bill this year, SJR 39, which is the Health Care Freedom Act in constitutional form. It will also bypass the governor's signature, just like the statute did, but it will go to a vote of the people if we get it passed. It's SJR 39, it's now on the calendar in the Senate, and if we can get that passed last year, I can say goodbye to Missouri. I'm leaving you a gift of the Cunningham Amendment in the, in the Missouri Constitution. Thank you for all your help.